All right, everybody, uh, I wanted to do an updated video on how to use Cody on the Fire Stick because what I noticed in the past couple of weeks was that Amazon put out an update that changed the way that the home screen uh, looks on the Amazon Fire TV. Before, all of your major submenus were going down, down the left side of the screen, and now uh, we can see that they are on top where it says home, your videos, movies, TV shows, apps, and, and settings. Okay, now, right here, that, that K, that's the shortcut to get to Cody. What I've noticed is that on the Fire Stick, it'll place that shortcut there for you, real easy. But if you own a Fire TV, for some reason, that shortcut isn't there, and you have to go through and you have to find Cody the old-fashioned way. Uh, before I show you how to do that, I want you to take a look at the remote control with me. If you've never used uh, the Fire Stick or the Fire TV before, then you're you know you're not familiar with the remote control. So you got your ring here, your directional ring, and in the center when you click, that's what I call select. You got your back button here that I use a lot in Cody. Um, I don't use the home button because it takes you to the home of the Fire TV and then, then you'll be out of Cody. And then there's this button right here that has the three lines on it. I'm sorry that my video is kind of blurry, but this button here is what I would call the options button. Uh, if you wanted to look at information about a movie or a TV show or if you found something that you wanted to delete off of Cody, you could hit that those three lines there and it'd bring up those options. Okay. Um, these buttons down here, the fast forwards, the stops and all that, I never use that for Cody. Ever, ever, ever. All right. So it's mainly the ring, the select, and the back button. Every now and then, the options. All right. So let's go back up to the TV, let it focus. Um... I'm going to scroll all the way to the right to settings and show you how to find this the old-fashioned way. Let me turn this real quick. Hopefully it doesn't mess you guys up. So there we are in settings. And we want to go down to where it says applications. So I'm going to go down, highlight, applications, select. Gives us another menu and we want to go all the way down to manage installed. Select, and then we want to go and find Cody. It's so going to give you some options here. When you click on it, do not clear data. You will erase all of the uh, settings that are in Cody. It'll be completely blank. Um, it's a, it's we can fix it, but you'd have to actually like bring it back to me or send it back to whoever you got it from. Uh, so launch applications, and here we are at the main screen for Cody. You got your main menus there, music, programs, system, videos, uh, pictures, all the fun, ha fun happens in videos, okay? Um, I start with, I start with these shortcuts on mine. We can see Exodus on the bottom left there. That's for all movies, all TV shows. That's the one where you get your money back, right? We'll go there in a sec. Phoenix is a mishmash of TV shows, movies, and live TV, live sports. Um, live sports is a little a little fickle to deal with, but but you can make it happen. Smooth streams I don't put um, on the shortcuts when I when I make sticks for people because smooth streams is a paid add-on where you get high definition live content, your pay-per-view, your all your sports, no buffering, no kicking out, no having to search around for it. Pro Sport says it all. And then VidTime is a lot like Phoenix. It's just a mishmash of stuff. What a lot of people don't know that have never used Cody before, right here where it says add-ons, if you go and highlight and select on that, then you're going to see all of the add-ons that this comes with. And for those of you unfamiliar with the terminology, add-ons are like channels, except in Cody, we don't have channels, okay? Everything's organized by content. It's not like, you know, you, you're on network television or anything. So if I were to scroll down, you would just see all the add-ons. 
that you could just go through and search and just see what you like. Sports Access is another paid add-on. Gives you live TV, live sports, live pay-per-view. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Sports Devil used to be the go-to in sports. Now it's a little bit finicky, but you can get uh, your sports on there. Uh, what else? Oh, I wanted to talk to you about that button that has uh, the three lines, the options. So let's say there was something on here that you wanted to get rid of. Uh, you wanted to get rid of maybe the adult content there. So hit the three but the three lines. It gives you this sub menu. Go to add on information. Boom. There's your option to uninstall if you wanted to get rid of that. Okay. So that's one of the main things that I use uh, that that button for. If I go down to Exodus, let me show you what's up here. It's one of the best add-ons ever. You got up at the top of the menu here. Let me get settled. I know you guys are probably getting dizzy. So at the top, you got movies. You got TV shows. So let's go to movies real quick. You see this this all these subheadings. Genres, year, people watching is my favorite subheading. Most popular, most voted box office. Right? In theaters. In theaters is cool. People like this one. But the thing about this is just because the picture's up doesn't mean that there uh there's a movie there. Right? You got all these movies that are you know in the theaters or just got out of the theaters. And like I said, just because the picture is there doesn't necessarily mean uh, that the movie's there also. That's why I prefer, let me go back, hit that back button. That's why I prefer people watching because if, if people are watching it, then you know it's there. So I select that. Um, so let's say I wanted to watch this Magnificent Seven movie. I'd click on it. Right now, it's searching the internet for all of the sources where this movie exists. It's just searching, 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 and then it's going to give me a very long list of sources. Still going, huh? And here comes the list. So now you see all of these sources. And there's even more if you scroll all the way down. Let's you know what the quality of it is. Uh, up top there where it says HD. Let me click on the first one and see what it does. If you see that little play symbol in the bottom left corner. A little triangle. It's good to go. Alright, there it's coming on. And you got your movie coming through. Okay, now in order to stop a movie, stop a TV show, um, you hit that select, you know, in the center of that ring, brings up these options here, scroll over to the stop uh, icon and hit select again, and you've successfully stopped the video. Now you can back your way out and go look at some others. Um, all right, that's my short tutorial on how to use Cody with the Fire Stick if you're brand new to it. I hope it was helpful. Thank you.